when you're a high school math teacher, it's crazy to think that your students are like almost adults, like these, these humans that are sitting in front of you. They're already considering like career pathways. What are they going to do after high school? And you're like, oh my gosh, am I equipping you for the real world that you're about to like encounter in a few years? I talk to my students about like, what do y'all want to be when you grow up? And a lot of them say, I want to be a YouTuber and an influencer. <laughs> and so I've collaborated with the Student Research Foundation to talk about like, what are some of my thoughts as a high school teacher and how we're equipping our students for what they're going to encounter. So if you don't already know, I am Esther Brunat. I live in sunny South Florida and I teach high school math. I teach Algebra 2 and I teach Trigonometry. And so I think that we prepare our students um, with math by using that problem solving muscle that's in their brain. We do a lot of abstract critical thinking, right? Um, and I think unfortunately the thing about math is that, that that abstract problem solving and critical thinking is intangible like i can't really see the results right now and our students really want to see results as soon as possible gen z in my opinion is super woke like they know all about different um things that are happening around the world uh they're super politically aware and conscious and so they're watching what's happening they're watching us deal with like environmental issues they're watching us deal with uh, a pandemic right and which is a at-home health issue and also a global issue that's all around the world and they're seeing how we're handling it right and so they want to be part of the solution and part of like how we get over these things. So I tell my students in years past, I've always said, listen, the reason why we teach you math, right? You're sitting in this algebra two class, sitting in this trig class, it's because it's working that muscle that's in your brain that teaches you to critically think, teaches you to problem solve, because in the future, when you're the ones that are in charge, right? And somebody spills oil in the Gulf and we're trying to figure out how to clean it up or we need a vaccine in 12 months. <laughs> or, you know, it snows in Texas and we need better power solutions. That's gonna be you. And you need to have the tools and that problem solving needs to be quick to provide solutions for these problems that happen in the world, right? And better yet, maybe even find preventions so that these problems don't even happen in the first place. That's what this critical thinking and problem solving that we do in math helps you do. It's an abstract thing that we do, unfortunately, so they can't see how that's really being played out in their brains, but that is where it's being played out. When they're in charge, they get to make solutions, they get to problem solve, they get to think, what do I know about this? What do I know about that? How can we come together to make a solution? And so I think that Algebra 2 and Trig help our students for fields in this post-secondary fields, post-secondary area of their life. It helps them enter fields that do just that, solve problems to advance society.